Hello and welcome everyone going to another video and today's video we have some amazing nice battles in the jungle cup I went on a 12 uh, win streak so far this the win streak hasn't ended I actually uh, that was like in, within the last two sets of today's stream and I felt like this team is actually insanely good it's not just the team if you look at the pokemons here I have weird moveset we have brick break on Vigoroth and we don't have a uh, mud bomb on quag and uh, we are running water pulse on mantine so this moveset came in like extremely handy in like so many games where like if i didn't have this moveset i would not have one uh, as an example uh, quag with aqua tail into shadow charizard that does like 70 percent so if you have mud bomb that's like a bad matchup but when, if they swap in charizard you can no shield one move and then you can just go straight aqua tail uh, the brick break it's not a great charge move it helped in literally one matchup and it's a steelix you destroy steelix instead of just getting walled by steelix water pulse is slightly better against this comedy and if they are leading altaria you could actually fake the ice beam as you will see here in today's video and they fell for the bait for most of the time so i was like okay i'm done losing in this cup i was at 2680 and then i tanked to 2450 i think or something and then i started using this team and then it all we get all the elo we lost while testing out all the new pokemons so if you like the content please leave a like and if you are new to the, new to the channel make subscribe because it took me lots of testing to get this team done i know people be like oh this is a meta team well technically like look at that lag we lost so many bubbles because of the lag technically what is winning me it's not the team it's literally the the, the awkward move set and if you look at this matchup here I didn't throw a break break because I don't want to reveal it yet. So not revealing the moveset is a, a key strategy in this cup. And I think my opponent shielding here because technically if they take a body slam, they will be like, they will be like a, a close to a aerial ace range. So technically that's a justified shield by them. And now we're just going to go straight aerial ace as I think we do live anything they throw here and they should be in farm down range. So now at this point, we're just going to swap to Quag and try to get like energy lead. They get to a move, but we don't mind shielding here. So shielding is fine. And now look at that. They have a talent flame and we have the Shadow Quag Zyre. When I was talking about Shadow Quag in the other video, people were like, oh no, Shadow Quag is only good on YouTube. Oh, I'm sorry, on PV Poke. Uh, this is a good matchup here why Brick Break is going to come in handy, I think. Uh, always chip and then go to your own Vigoroth. So I'm going to no shield one move. I think they are about to have to. So we make sure we make sure we're not throwing here because that's just a bad timing to throw the charge move. We, I'm going to throw a Brick Break here in case they decide to no shield. Sorry, they decide to shield. But they decided to no shield, so it didn't even matter. But if I throw a Body Slam, it would have KO'd. But now, then... We left with more energy lead, but it's not going to do us anything. So now our play is I need to stall the clock in case it's a lantern in the back. And it was a Uphisk. Technically the same weakness. They both destroy Mantine. And we destroy them as Quag just loves to see these Pokemons. And now we're just going to spam these Aqua Tails. Look how much that did. I need to start shielding at this point. And Aquatail here, I'm going to CMP, oh wait, sorry, I didn't, because they are in, on the 5 cycle, so I can just back to back here, and we CMP them, because Quag is, gets the move every 4 seconds, okay, and Shadow Quag is insane, okay, if you don't have the Shadow, I'm assuming you could do Shadow Whiskash, or none of Shadow Whiskash instead, you could also do Quag, but the Shadow is like way more like way better okay uh here in this matchup i tried to fake the ice beam opponent fell for it and then they decided to shield and now i'm actually going to match in case it's a moon blast and it's a moon blast so i'm going to over farm slightly here and then throw this hopefully they fell for it and they did fail for it so see guys you don't need to have ice beam but you can fake the ice beam and they will always fall for it because they cannot afford letting it go and now i can just swap out just in case they have a vigoroth in the back because i vigoroth into quag is just an annoying matchup so this is a matchup where breaky break came in handy look at this so i'm going to throw the breaky break and i don't think i get to the body slam but that is technically after i like do couple wing attacks if this is a rock slide it does ko it's a body slam 
So if you see this, this is more than five mod shot range. But because we throw the brick brick, I think I will KO with five mod shots. So let's see one, two, three, four, five insane good farm down opponent having talon flame talon flame guess what you face and this is a stone edge will one shot the talon flame bye bye talon flame see you next game okay moving into the next one we have man titan into guaxire this is an awkward matchup as a stone edge does lots of damage and it's super effective so i'm going to shield this and throw an aerial ace and this ADL is going to do some decent damage. Not great damage though. Okay, barely half. Opponent swapped in to Vigoroth. So I'm going to stay in, do some chip damage. Uh, because we don't have a Vigoroth answer. See guys, and, and as I said before, uh, your own Vigoroth is your best Vigoroth answer. Whenever Vigoroth is OP in a cup. And Vigoroth is OP in this cup. So as I said before, you don't need a hard answer to Vigoroth. Because that's what your Vigoroth, Vigoroth, Vigoroth is job. To, to beat the opposing leader. I'm going to farm them down here. And now they bring in the Steelix. And guess what, Mr. Steelix user? We have Brick Break. You, you, you don't wall the charge move anymore. Okay. The Brick Break, by the way, gives you a guaranteed defense drop. I think they do crunch here. But it doesn't matter. Because another Brick Break is going to defense drop. Drop their defense again. And now they should swap out. We swap out as well. We can tank a move. Because we are full HP. Shadow Quag on Shadow Quag action. 2 Aqua Tail plus the mod shot should be enough for them to, to KO me but remember that I am on energy lead so technically all we need to do is just shield this and then insta throw and this Aqua Tail I think it barely KOs okay it did KO and now that Sadder Steelix is going to take an L moving into the next game so this is where water pulse is actually insanely good in this matchup look at this I'm going to no shield here and due to okay opponent swapped into Ferathon to bait the Vigoroth out uh, by the way Ferathon beat Vigoroth but remember we have break break it's super effective now so we should be able to tank two moves here but I think I would like to shield I would like to shield here. No, we did not shield. Well, maybe we go for like an aggressive mod shot down. Yeah, this is a very aggressive play, but I like it. I like what I did here. So now they have an Altaria. So we're just going to go straight to Stone Edge. No bluffing. Okay, Stone Edge landed. Now we can just swap out. They brought in the Talonflame. But remember that Talonflame lives to Aerial A. So they usually try to call you bluff. I think I should just go for the water pulse to be honest. And now we shield in. We can KO with three wing attacks. Yeah, we do. And all we need to do is just to throw these charge moves. I didn't see a dragon breath coming in, which means it's either a CMP or they came in late. It doesn't matter though, because we are going to get to another move. And all we need to do is just to swap and quag them down. Okay, respect the shadow quag, everyone, please. I have an insanely good Shadow Quag. This is like 0, 14, 12. Like a decent IV, like rank 29 Shadow Quagsire. Okay, moving into the next game. Okay, we have some Q time. Uh, Mantine into Talonflame. So again, as I said, this is where you need Water Pulse. They always know shield, okay? So we throw this. And it's landed. It doesn't KO though, so you could actually shield. The shield here comes in for one good situation because now they will just get out numb, but we have very good health. They don't, okay? They only have two Pokemon. I have three healthy Pokemon, so I'm just going to swap out. I don't want to take a Stone Edge to the face, so we are no shielding here. I think Brick, is this where I throw Brick Break? I like Brick Break in here, to be honest. So let's see what's going to happen. They still haven't used the shield, but now you just... Uh, okay, I... Uh, this is not... This is actually, uh, like... Not bad. Brick Break would be better because, you know, we would drop the defense and then they will be in aerial ace range. Now they aren't. They swapped into the Whiskash. I don't know why. And this game is just GG as Mantine wall this thing. I think if they stayed in, it would have been better. But opponent was trying to basically, like, clear out the debuff. And this aerial ace it doesn't do that much damage, but you know what? Dead damage does nothing to us. We go to the Shadow Quagsire. We don't need to shield the first one. And then we can hopefully CMP them. One, two, three. Uh, okay, I think I threw one short. 
Uh, as this does KO, okay, I, now I see why I feel one shot because I can throw back to back and CMP them as they fell for it. And now, what do you have, Trainer? Nothing. Top left. Okay, moving into the next game. I have so many battles today, I think like 12, 13. Uh, in this matchup, I think I did a questionable play by throwing the Aerial Ace on the Icy Wind CMP. But to be honest, in my defense, I did not want to throw the Aerial Ace because they will just shield it. So I decided to throw on once they debuff themselves. Sorry, once they debuff me, so they would think that it doesn't do that much damage. So, in this situation here, we're just going to see what they do. And I'm going straight Water Pulse. And do they respect that? Let's see. Oh, they did. This is the only person that actually respected the Water Pulse. And this is the matchup I was talking about. You do need Aqua Tail, by the way, and you need a Shadow Quag. Uh, because now Aqua Tail does KO. If you have non-Shadow, it wouldn't KO. Now we have two moves. We can throw one. It does, it does KO. They bring in, I think, Obama Snow. We can just stone edge it. And Shadow Quag literally sweeping. Look at this smiley, evil face. Look at that. Yeah, he's like, yeah, just wait for it. I have it. I'm going to nuke you, Obama Snow. They have the Talon Flame in the bag. And then we go Vigoroth. Opponent staying in. And they decide to no top left yet. So uh, the play here is you actually break a break and then you body slam. So we do two, then we throw the break break. Because this is a guaranteed shield. There is no way they would call it. Then we do two, then throw. Because even if they call it, I still have uh, almost half HP Mantine, which can take care of this. So the play now, we go Quag. Okay, one, we have the Aqua Tail, and Quag is like, look at my face. I'm about to knock you out. And Shadow Quag took down three Pokemons in that game by himself. He did not need any help. Look at that. Amazing Pokemon. Talon Flame. Just wait to see it. We have Water Pulse, which you don't know. I bet you don't know. Water Pulse does lots of damage to the thing. So I actually, if you land it, always shield because you're just going to out health them, outlive them. Point swapping in Umbreon. But guess what, Umbreon? We have Brick Break. Okay. So we're going to do one then throw. It doesn't do that much damage. It's actually a joke amount of damage. This is like, this is like a Power Up Punch clone, I think. But like it, it dropped their defense instead of boosting your attack. Something like that. So break break here. I think they will die with the move. Which is actually nice. Because oh my. That was a nice 5 -0. Opponent top left it as like. They were like. They had no way to win the game. Moving into the next one. We have Mantine into Wiggles. Uh, Wiggles should win the one shield I think. Because they are just. Uh, Mantine just doesn't do enough damage. That's like the main reason. Like that's. Like, Mantine is a tank, but it's not a Pokemon that does good amount of damage. So, uh, what's the play here? We're just going to spam these. I don't want to shield here. I think I do live this, and I still get to another move. So, we throw here on bad timing, because it doesn't matter. If I throw on good timing, I will faint with a move. So, we know shield here. This is a good mud shot down range, and, like, look at that. Four mud shots. What can, what can beat, like, Quag at this point? Look at that. Quag is like, okay. We're giving us that smile throwing the aqua tail after aqua tail and we see impede them this aqua tail does not ko but it should put them low enough where i can click vigoroth them all the way down now we just swap to the vigoroth and upon the bring in lantern since they are switch locked we're just going to break break and trust me when they can't swap out the break break comes in handy as now the counter is doing more damage the body slam will do more damage as well so we go for a break break again because i want to much shut them down to be honest and i don't think we need to shield this we can just call this bait and now all we need to do is two aqua tails one for the shield and one for the whiz cash and they decided to top left as they know they can't win that game because shadow quag is just insanely good horrible lead we swap out uh if they swap in a trap you need to fake the rock slide okay if you fake the rock slide you have a chance to win if they don't shield i think it's kind of bad and i managed to get them to shield that now i'm just going to straight to go straight uh wing attack sorry brick breaks because now they are double debuffed which means the wing attack will do insane amount of damage comparing to not being debuffed okay so now we go to 
uh, Mantine. And this is a Shadow Ball. It does lots of damage, to be honest. I would like this thing to stay healthy. And now we farm them all the way down. They bring in the thing. We swap out as I'm ex not expecting them to have a Quag answer. And answer. Answer. It's Stone Edge. This should one shot the Obamas. No, they know shield because they don't know. They was like, oh, the BP will then Mud Bomb and Aqua Tails. Like, no, we have Stone Edge for you. As I said, the moveset is literally the reason I'm winning games. As you guys are noticing so far. Mantine Mir opponent is trying to catch up with the secret sauce here in the, in the jungle cup. Mantine is the best lead technically. I'm telling people to use Mantine. Tomorrow I will use uh, Charge of Us. <laughs> uh, we are throwing this and this should do some respectable damage and i think if you have a good iv you should live this if they have a bad iv they don't live your aerial ace okay so here's the thing here's the the, the, the the like the secret one if you have a good iv you live if they have a bad iv they don't uh i decided to swap out i think i should let it go to be honest but hey vigoroth does not have a bad matchup in this cup remember except palo sand palo sand is just insanely bad uh opponent is running the glow desire but now we are just going to spam body slam i think they do have a whiskash or a claw desire because oh no it's actually a vigoroth so i'm just going i'm going straight for the brick break because now these this brick break will put them like we'll debuff them and put them in aqua tail range this 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 is like usually a stone edge range but since they are debuffed i can do some mud shot damage i tried to catch it did not work out for me so we're going to shield here uh we're going to over farm a bit and then throw right before they get to the move and this aqua tail is getting shielded i'm going to shield as well so let's see what the opponent will do. I'm going to over farm slightly. As I know that I don't win CMP. They brought the Glow Zyre. So I uh, so, so I th threw, like I built up enough to out outpace the uh, Vigoroth. As I know, we be the thing. And now we're just going to Rock Slide. B Stone Edge beam the Vigoroth. Stone Edge has, has some nice animation actually. Altaria, always fake the ice beam, always fake the ice beam. So we're just going to build up a bit and then throw uh, on uh, eight. And they don't respect it. But now, since they don't respect it, we can just go straight uh, aerialist. If they th go straight uh, sky attack, you actually do win. If they go straight moon blast, I don't think you win. But remember, we don't want to win. We just want to catch leads with Mantine and then like just have a setup for Vigoroth or or the Glodzire, or the, sorry, the Gwagzire. So, opponent here is running Pelipper. So, I'm going to fake the Rock Slide, okay? Look at this. Uh, I'm gonna make them think I have Rock Slide. So, we're going to throw a Body Slam. They cannot let a Rock Slide go because it does lots of damage. So, uh, we're just going to Brick Break now, and they have a Steelix. They think they wall us, but remember what? You know what? We have brick break just for you my friend my opponent here with the steelix pokemon what a stupid pokemon i hate steelix okay we don't need to shield this and now all we need to do is just going straight stone edge no baiting okay baiting is the loose con so we're shielding this and we're throwing stone edge so this game should be a W because we're not giving them a chance to win. Okay, moving into the next battle. We have man tied into Whiskash. Amazing lead. Point swaps it into a Vigoroth. So all we need to do is just throw an aerial ace and then go to our own Vigoroth. Uh, now, since we have Brick Break, we can just do some punishment here. Opponent throwing this, it does not matter. Remember, we have a Gwag, and Gwag beats Whiskash. So, technically, we don't care how they play this, as we don't care that much about this swap. One decided to shield. I'm going to shield. You know why? Because you did, okay? Don't shield when you're behind, because you're not supposed to win. Uh, they will bring in this Steelix, and guess what, Steelix? We have Brick Break for you. Doesn't do that much damage, but it will make my Mudshot crit on the Steelix. Look how much damage. Like, you've never seen 
You've never seen Brick Break doing that much damage. Okay, they decided to top left. So many wins today. And that was another 5-0. So this team got me tw 12 wins so far. I still haven't lost a single game with this team. So yeah, thank you so much everyone for watching. This is the end of the video. If you guys like these battles, please leave a like. If you want to use the channel, make subscribe. If you are looking for a team, hey, this is a team for you. And yeah, see you in the next video, which will be uh, a legend run. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. And see you in the next video. Peace.